Hi guys, so today we are going to see industrial machine monitoring system. So in recent times industry machine uh, we are going to monitor means we need to person that person will going to monitor the machine temperature and then uh, RPM speed and then oil level oil level for that machine. So now we are proposing a one project so that will be used to detect RPM of that uh, machine and also oil level of that machine and then temperature winding temperature of that machine by using our proposed system so here we are using this system so whenever uh, tho those values will be gathered we get uh, we will anywhere monitor those values from using our iot model such as isp8266 model so we get uh, those values to our cloud storage such as iot page so here we are using a ordinary you know microcontroller with 16 into 2 LCD display. So here we are using uh, Atmega 328P microcontroller. This one is a 230 volt to 12 volt AC step down transformer. And then this is an IR sensor used to identify the pulse uh, by using the pulse. So we get the RPM of that particular motor. And then by using ultrasonic sensor, we will get the oil level of that motor. And also LM35 temperature sensor it will give the winding temperature. So this is a Wi-Fi uh, wi wi model ESP8266 with a base port. So here using a base port we can connect LCD into uh, this base port. So here. So those values will be we get uh, in our IoT page such as IoT Cloud Data dot com 22 log IoT Cloud Data dot com slash 22 log slash and then this number 203. So before we are going to connect our Wi-Fi model, so we need a Wi-Fi connection like a hotspot or any other Wi-Fi connection. So Wi-Fi connection default we setting the password hotspot name as IoT data i small IoT data password as 12345678. So once we enable our hotspot and then mobile data, this IoT model will be connected to our hotspot. So here a connected device is no devices connected. When we switch on the power supply, we get the ESP8 to something, some name will be occur here. So now I switch on the power supply. So no devices. So connected devices as came as a ESP. So this model is connected. So now we check. So here T means a temperature. S means so RPM and then ultra means ultrasonic sensor, the oil level. So when uh, obstacle detected or any other object means so ultrasonic distance will be slowed. So here we are using oil. So instead of oil we put finger. So ultrasonic sensor will be decreased. And then this is a temperature. This one is a temperature sensor. So temperature in, uh, like increased at 29, 27 as per temperature in our finger. This is a pulse. So RPM rate we will get as a 16. So 230 volt AC will be stepped down into 12 volt AC and then 12 volt AC will be converted into DC by using this bridge rectifier unit. Here analog pins AD0 to AD5 total 6 analog pins we are using. And then digital pins 0 to 13 digital pins we are using. So ultra sensor uh, having ultrasonic sensor having a 4 pins VCC ground trigger echo pin. So trigger echo pin connected with uh, 6 and 7. So this uh, module uh, like uh, uh, our Arduino you know connect the entire se uh, sensor data and then send into our Wi-Fi module. Then it, this Wi-Fi module will collect all the sensor data sent to our IoT page by using our internet connection. So here a UART uh, communication will be enabled. Like this one is a transmitter, it will transmit the data, so it will receive the data. So and also IR sensor having a uh, three pins, one is a positive negative, like a VCC ground and then output pin will be connected into, like fed into our AD1 pin. So here we convert our analog value into digital bins by default ADC conversion, uh, such as a uh, 10 bit ADC we having it. So now we, we are going to check the values of collected sensor data to our IoT page. 
so this is your uh, iot page link http colon uh, slash slash iot cloud data dot com 22 log slash 203 this is your project uh, url so once hit enter button you will get the uh, login panel so default password and then username admin so all letters are small username admin password also admin so once enter and then hit the enter button you will get the login uh, total data so here values will become so logging date uh, 4 or 5 uh, such as uh, like 4th date so now we are getting a uh, 7 and then 5 so here are 7 and 5 18 23 so 18 8 approximately we get recent values so these are the process by working on your kit so once you enter the iot data and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in your hotspot then enable your hotspot and then enable your data so check your connected device ESP connected or not once it connected means check the all the sensor values occur in LCD display and also here check uh, by put this URL into your Chrome browser any any, any browser and then uh, login default username password username admin password also admin so once you enter then you will see the values what the temperature and then speed and then ultrasonic distance value so that's all. Thank you.